The Dating Game with Sean Helpen. I saw some dating game. Thank you so much. Um, uh, bachelors, uh, uh, I guess, would probably uh, make it easier to play the game. Uh, do we have three in the building? Oh, gosh, let's hope they're all sitting over here. Follow me. Grateful Dead Bachelors. All right, guys, how are you? Good. You guys ready to play? Yeah, sure. All right, look, you look just like Wayne Newton. So tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Chris Reiner, and I'm an accountant. That's the words Donka Shane don't mean anything to you then. Now, is there anything uh, that might surprise you about a woman? I think most girls would be surprised at my taste in music. I'm really into very aggressive music like rap and heavy metal, and most girls I meet think that just because I'm an accountant that I don't know how to rock and roll. Let's bang heads, dude. Good. Good. <laughs> All right, best of luck. That's for number two. Who are you? What do you do? My name is Isabel, and I'm original from Venezuela. Okay, good. Are, are women different in Venezuela than they are here in America? Well, American women love to hear that they look younger than they really do, that they really are, and they weigh less than what they really do. But in Venezuela, it's the opposite. They believe that they're more than better. Um, that's what I call international relations. Yeah, uh, we call that scamming here in the States. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, best of luck to you, sir. Thank you. And you, sir, bachelor number three, who are you? What do you do? My name is Sean Helpin. I'm an aerospace engineer and, uh, during the week, and I teach skiing uh, in the local mountains and mammoth on the weekends. On the weekends? I thought you were going to say at night. No, okay. no. Okay. What annoys you? Uh, what annoys you on a date, sir? Uh, I'd have to say that when I'm on a date with a gal, and, and the only question that she has is, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right. You guys ready to play? Sure. Yeah. All right. Just enjoy yourselves. Have as much fun as you're having now. Mies Vandero breakfast stool of ours, and uh, tell us a little about yourself, if you would. I'm a student, and I'm studying psychology, business, and women's leadership. Okay. Uh, now, why would you uh, dump a guy on a date? If he was the restaurant klepto. Hmm. That's a guy that, if you're sitting down at a restaurant, he starts collecting the sugar and the creamer packets, mm -hmm. and half of the silverware on the table and shoves it in my purse. And if he, take, if he does that, then he could just go ahead and steal himself a new date because me and my purse aren't sticking around for that. No. I think that's what Christina said to John DeLorean. Anyhow, uh, you've got uh, three questions. You've got three very nice gentlemen next door. You'll ask the questions, get the answers, decide who you want to go out with. I'll be down here. Bachelor number one. I hate it when guys pull the puppy dog routine and follow me around all night. What, what, do you, what routine do you hate when a girl tries to pull with you? Well, I'm going to have to go with the future wife routine. After about a, two dates, they'll start talking about vacations about a year in advance or when we're going to do this together, and I want you to come home and meet my family and meet all this after I've just met them. And uh, I'm not, uh, that's a little too quick for me. I just like to get to know them a little better, and, and that's about it. That's for number two. Well, I hate when they play the routine uh, like the little cat under the rain. Uh, when she's freezing and he's dripping water, you know, and she's uh, like, I'm frozen, but don't come and get me. Bachelor number three, what routine do you hate when a girl tries to pull with you? Oh, I definitely have to say, I hate, I hate it when a girl sends her friend with her messages to me and uh, tries to get to me through a roommate or another friend. I like to see her face to face. Bachelor number two, if I talk to your friends... Without, without you around, what sort of dating gossip would they tell me about you? Hmm. Well, they might tell you he's Don Juan, but he's a very romantic guy. Um, bachelor number three? Um, they would, they would tell you that I, I'm very spontaneous. Uh, 
come Friday afternoon, I might be heading out to Catalina for the weekend, or I might be heading up into the mountains. Uh, I love to spend the weekend up there, uh, mountain biking, hitting the hot tubs and jacuzzis, and uh, I like to do a lot of wine and dine and skiing, of course. Really? You bet. Bachelor number one, what sort of dating gossip would your friends tell me about you? Well, they uh, they probably tell you that I'm pretty much up for anything most of the time. I'm I like you know I wouldn't mind being dressed up at a dance club or dressed wet, dressed way down at a hardcore punk concert or almost non-dressed at the beach, anything like that. But I'm, I'm very easily pleased, and I like a variety of things, and that's pretty much what they tell you. Bastard number three, I'm so bad at telling guys to get lost that I'd rather screen my calls until they leave me alone. What is your chicken way out of telling a girl you don't want to date her anymore? Well, geez, I, I already answered that in question um, with the first question. I love to do it face-to-face, one-on-one. There isn't any other way. I, I'm, I, I believe in honesty and being right there. Well, I lie. Um, <laughs> I first try and say, well, I'm not really, you know, if I, we keep going out, I don't want to lead you on. I'm not really ready for a relationship. Or if that doesn't really work, I just find an old girlfriend that, or find a girlfriend that doesn't exist at all and tell her maybe that she lives a few hundred miles away and that'll about do it, I guess. Bachelor number two, what is your chicken way out of telling a girl you don't want to see her anymore? Well, I might just tell her, just, you know, I just can't afford you. You are too expensive, and my next payment, my, I, I have to pay my car, you know, and I can't date girls right now at this moment. You know, it's getting expensive, you know. Go! Go! Okay. Look for the live double album uh, in a video store near you. Well, Tammy... Uh, if you have any better idea of what happened than I do, uh, <laughs> you're a better man than I am. What you're going to have to do now is decide which one of those guys you want to go out with. And uh, uh, I just am going to kind of sit back and watch her decide. You folks do whatever you like for two minutes. We'll be right back. Oh, welcome back to Can You Top This, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Maury Amsterdam. Okay, so this is going to be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three. Bachelor number three. Why him? Um, I don't really know. Well, as long as you get your head in the game, Tammy, that's what counts. Let's be the two guys you didn't choose. You didn't choose. I ought to bang, zoom. Bachelor number one said he doesn't like the future wife routine. Honey, do you want the station wagon with wood paneling or a ski rack? Chris Reichner, come say hi to Tammy. And uh, Bachelor number two said that his friends would tell you who he is. Uh, ar, ar, ar. He is a Don Juan. Abel de Ruiz, come say hi to Tammy. Okay, gentlemen, I have to uh, I have to say goodbye to you, but we have a year's supply of something that uh, some member of your family can turn into something. Just head off through the metal detector, guys. Uncle Vic in the prize warehouse will help you load it into the car. Now, you ready for this? No, no. <laughs> Feel like I'm in a dentist's office. Okay, bachelor number three said, don't, I repeat, don't use your friends to get at him. Sean, help and come say hi to Tammy. Come here, come here, come here. Don't be scared yet. I've got uh, plenty of time to be scared on the trip. Uh, you have uh, three envelopes, three great books. Who wants to choose? Go for it. Envelope two. You open it, I'll read it. We'll both open it. And watch for paper cuts. Okay. Yeah! Well, one of us can, oh, okay, one of us can read English. Uh, snow skiing in Lake Tahoe. Sean, your four day trip again. When you and your dating game chaperone fly from Los Angeles to the beautiful slopes of Lake Tahoe for breathtaking views and plenty of white powder skiing. 
You'll be the VIP guest of Lakeland Village Beach and Ski Resort, a year-round lakefront resort centrally located in South Lake Tahoe, one mile from Superstar Entertainment and Gaming, and one mile from Heavenly Valley, furnished by Lakeland Village Beach and Ski Resort. You'll be guests of Heavenly Valley with ski lessons, high-performance equipment rental, and lift tickets to ski the high Sierras, furnished by Heavenly Valley. Have a great time skiing in Lake Tahoe! Thank you so much, Charlie O'Donnell. And as we all know, Tahoe, of course, is the Indian word for... Yeah. Okay, you guys have a great time. It's a lovely game. You make a nice couple. We'll see you again at the end of our show. Right. Now go off this way into the... Uh, off to Lake Tahoe. How are you guys getting along? Great. Yeah. You like her? Oh, I love her. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that on the first day. And remember, when you think of us here on the All New Dating Game, just think of me going... Uh. Hey, see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Stay tuned for the new Newlywed Game, coming your way next here on TV20.